Hi, boys and girls. Miss Janie again. Oh my, our lessons with Joseph are getting so exciting. Joseph is still in prison. You know, he asked the butler if the butler would help him, and so far, nothing. Nothing. Well, today we're going to the king's palace. We're going where the king lived. You know, one night the king had a dream. And in this dream, he saw a herd of seven cows, fat cows, <gasps> seven fat cows. But then, right after those fat cows were seven skinny cows. Hmm, cows. And you know what? He said in his dream that those skinny cows ate the fat cows, but they didn't get any fatter. They stayed the same. Oh, my. And then, after that dream was over, he had a dream, and there were seven big, fat ears of corn Oh, boys and girls, people are getting ready to plant gardens and they're going to plant corn and those big old ears of corn on the cob. When they get ripe and we cook those up with butter and salt, oh my goodness, nothing better. Seven big fat ears of corn. But then there were seven little skinny ears of corn. And the Pharaoh said, I just don't understand this. I don't understand it at all. Here's fat cows and skinny cows and corn, fat and skinny corn. What does this mean? So the king called everybody in that he knew. He said, tell me what these dreams mean. Tell me about this. And lo and behold, nobody could tell him. Nobody knew. He said, I need somebody to tell me about this. Tell me. Tell me. Well, that's when the light bulb went off over the butler's head. And he said, I know somebody that can. When I was in prison, there was a man there that could tell me everything that I dreamed, and his name was Joseph. So, the king called for Joseph, and Joseph came into the palace right in front of the king. From prison to being in front of the king, you know, boys and girls, that's the way it is. When Jesus saves us, when we ask him to come into our heart, we go from dirt poor to being rich in God. Oh, we go from prison to the palace. Isn't that amazing? Well, Joseph is there at the palace in front of the king. And the king says, I hear you can tell what dreams mean. And Joseph, you know what Joseph said? Joseph said, I can't do that on my own. God does it for me. Telling the king about God. How brave was Joseph? Have you told somebody about God today? Joseph told the king. And the king said, here, let me tell you about my dreams. And he told him about the fat cows and the skinny cows and the fat corn and the skinny corn. And Joseph stood there a minute. And the king said, I don't guess you can tell me what it means either. And Joseph said, but I can. Those fat cows and those fat ears of corn, there's going to be seven years in this land where everything that's put in the ground is going to grow big and bigger and biggest. Oh, the cattle are going to be so fat. The corn's going to come up 
plentiful wheat, anything that you grow, is there's just going to be bunches and bunches and bunches of it. And the king said, okay, this sounds good. And Joseph said, but the next seven years, there's going to be a famine in the land. There's not going to be food to eat. There's not going to be cattle. It's going to be devastating. There's not going to be enough to eat over the land. And the king said, well, what are we supposed to do about that? And Joseph said, well, I would recommend these first seven years that you store up everything you can. Build barns and silos and put all this stuff in it that's growing. Keep it. And then the next seven years, when it's so devastating, you'll have food. And Joseph said, but you need someone that could be over that. You need someone you trust that can take care of it and will do a good job so that the, all the people in the land will be able to eat. And you know what the king said? He said, Joseph, you're the man. You are the man. You're going to have that job. And boys and girls, the king took the ring off his finger and put it on Joseph. You are going to be the most special man next to me in this kingdom. Oh, Joseph, you have told me what was going to happen, and I am going to make you one of the most powerful people. <gasps> Boys and girls, this is Joseph that was beat up and put in a well. Oh, my goodness, doesn't God take care of us? I'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls. Thank you.